Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I actually asked on YouTube like a little post thing. I don't really understand it but I just put up a poll on YouTube and I asked which video would you rather see next from me? So which video should I post next? A beauty haul or a review of the vitamin E range from the body shop? I was kind of hoping it was going to be a beauty haul because this is so much quicker to film and edit because when it comes to the body shop one I have to do overlay clips and screen recordings of the website and everything like that so I really wanted to film this one instead and 70 something percent of you said that you wanted to see a beauty haul first so I was like thank god because I'm very busy very busy I'm going to be very busy next week as well because I've got an assignment to hand in and a literature review to hand in so that's not going to be fun so I'm going to be very busy but I'm still going to try and post videos on here two videos a week Wednesday and Friday hopefully at 9am if I can but anyway so I have picked up a few things over the past kind of month and a little bit I got a few bits with a little bit of Christmas money that I got and I also got a few bits with some birthday money that I got because my birthday is two weeks after Christmas so I picked up a few things and what I kind of see that as is like people have given me money for Christmas and my birthday thank you very much and I kind of see that as me like using a little bit of that money to kind of treat myself to some stuff for my birthday so it's like I've chosen a few of my birthday presents if you know what I mean I hope I've got a few things most of it's from Beauty Bay and a few bits are from Amazon but Beauty Bay are really quick with delivery and yeah I think it's free delivery over £25 as well so I do always try and get it over £25 just you know to get that free delivery so yeah got a few things treated myself to a few things so if you want to see everything then keep watching so first things first is we have i think i'll just show i'll show the makeup first because it's like i'll just show the makeup first okay the first thing i'm going to show like my most favorite thing in this haul which is this eyeshadow palette so this is beauty bay's collaboration with nikki tutorials i watch nikki on youtube i will link her channel in the description even though i'm 100 percent sure that you know who she is or watch her videos or whatever but you know just just for fun let's link it in the description let's go this is the palette it's the pressed pigment palette she's written like a nice little thing on the back actually originally it comes in different packaging i'll just get that yeah when you buy that palette i've actually kept the packaging because i'm going to be filming a review of it but when you buy the palette it comes in this like box and then it's just in there and then this is the palette now I won't go on about this too much because I'm going to film a full review of this and an eye look using this next month, so in February. So, you know, stay tuned for that if you want to see that. But this feels amazing quality in terms of just the packaging in, in itself. Like some eyeshadow palettes can feel really light and just like they'll break as soon as you drop them. This feels really nice and heavy, which I like. I also like the fact that one side's like nice and colourful and the other side's a little bit darker. I've not got a palette like this before where you open it up like that either. There's two mirrors. One's a normal mirror and one's a zoomed in kind of mirror and then these are the shades obviously i've been using this i've been using this daily i've used it today i went for just like a brown you know plain simple smoky eye i didn't do anything extravagant in this video but i think what i'm gonna do when i review the palette is attempt to do like more of like a exciting look or something and see how that goes like some kind of cut crease with whatever i don't know um but i'll watch some tutorials online or something but i love these shades you've got matte shades you've also got like pressed glitter shades most of the glittery shades are like are formulated and made in a way that it works best to just use your finger to apply them and it even says that on the back of the packaging even though i knew that anyway but you, you for you to get a fluffy brush and apply a shimmer that's not going to work you're not you're not going to get any pigment from that you have to use your finger and yeah i've used on my eyes today i did as the shimmery shade use this shade which is called all in i will name all of the shades in a video next month where i review this and do all the swatches and everything like that like a complete full review of it obviously i know this palette has been out for a little while but i just wanted to get it and it's like I say it's only £25, I think that's a really decent price for this whole thing, like £25. When you compare it to really expensive palettes out there and also Nikki Tutorials, she's a really well-known person. People have a lot of trust in her and her opinions. So she could have priced this a lot, lot higher, trust me. <laughs> and yeah, I think £25 is very decent for a eyeshadow palette of this 
quality and pigmentation and everything so i'll try not to go about this too much because i feel like i've been speaking about this for like five minutes but i just really love it and i've been using it every single day and would i recommend it yes you know spoiler alert for that video but yes i would okay next up i have this which kind of looks a little bit like foiled in a way like it's not 100 percent clear but this is the i think it's so sue not heard of that before it's a lip plumper gloss i love lip plumping products where you pop on the lip gloss and it makes your lips feel really tingly what i sometimes do is i just pop it on straight onto my lips or i will pop a little bit on the kind of cupid's bow of my lips like this and a little bit here and it just enhances your lips and makes them look a little bit fuller if i've got like another shade on if you know what i mean so yeah i really like that so i will mainly use this with a lip liner and then pop this just in the center on my bare lips i really like this it doesn't make my lips as tingly as a lip plumper from soap and glory or certain lip plumpers i've tried in the past but it is really nice it does make your lips plump you know only whilst you're wearing the product it's not you know lip filler or anything like that but i would much rather have this than lip fillers trust me so yeah i really like this i think it was like eight pounds or something like that but i was treating myself usually i wouldn't buy any lip product above five pounds um which to some people you might think well that's not much but to me i'm all about the cheap makeup so yeah i'm really happy with that and i do really like this and it is good but unfortunately it's not kept 100 percent clear because lipstick from my mouth transfers into there which his face doesn't sound too great. In terms of a swatch of the lip gloss, it's obviously just shiny. You know, there you go. There's the glossiness. You can't really say much about that. It's just a lip gloss. I also picked up another lip product and this is the matte lipstick from makeup academy mua and i've tried their lipsticks in the past they're not you know the most amazing things you've ever seen in the world they're fairly cheap in the first place like one pound something so you are getting what you're paying for in that respect the shade that i got is heartfelt which is looking like this so it's like a nudey kind of shade i have it on my lips today so if you can kind of see the shade that is. So I just wanted something really like just completely nude to my skin tone. Obviously this will be different on different skin tones, but this is what it looks like on my skin tone. And I think it matches my eyeshadow quite nicely today, but I just wanted something just plain and simple just to throw on, you know, there's no vibrancy here. It's just neutral. And I just felt like I didn't have anything that was this color and I don't tend to wear many different lipsticks i just stick to the same thing every day so this is the kind of thing where i would actually use this up because i use it every single day i either use this or i would just have a glossy lip so one or the other just to swatch this shade that's what it looks like on the back of my hand but when it comes to swatches of anything when it comes to swatches of eyeshadows lipsticks anything you know you can't swatch it on the back of your hand and be like oh yeah i don't like that you have to try it on on your face and things like that i'm not saying you have to you know imagine what it looks like on your face because everybody's skin types are different and what it looks like on the back of your hand is nothing compared to what it looks like on your lips and i think that's important to remember but that is what it looks like on the back of my hand if you are wondering I also thought as a little honourable mention, I didn't get this at Christmas or birthday. I actually got this a month or so before Christmas, but I'm not sure if I mentioned it. I probably did, but I just wanted to mention it now because it's kind of in the theme with what I'm talking about. This is the W7 Lip Twister and this is in the shade Shiraz. I think I did speak about this actually because now I'm reading it out, I'm kind of remembering it. Um, but this is my lip liner that I use. I've got it on my lips today. You probably can't see it, but I just really lightly line around the bottom and a little bit around the top. It is like a purpley colour because, you know, Shiraz, that's a wine colour. But it's also kind of a hint of brown. I just think it's subtly, it looks kind of nice as a lip liner you always want your lip liners to be slightly darker than your lipstick just because you want to emphasize that and give definition to your lips you don't want it to be the same color no point in lining your lips with the same color that you're using on your actual lips let me just say that but yeah i do really like this it's really nice and pigmented and it does last quite a while like it doesn't rub off you know particularly easily and i do really like that and it was like one pound something i think i just picked it up from amazon or something like that two more makeup pit bits the next one is from mua this is the amplify statement lash mascara and apparently it gives a full volume lash effect 
and it's in the shade black i just wanted a quick easy mascara i've got it on my lashes today it's not you know revolutionary it's just a casual normal mascara i don't ever go for anything different you know i just i just like cheap mascaras i've used the same mascara from Lidl two or three times in a row so I thought now is the time to just mix it up a little bit anyway it's very cheap like I said with the with the um oh they look like they're in the same range <laughs> um yeah with the lipstick just cheap but cheerful does the job I don't need anything special when it comes to mascara I don't need expensive mascaras I personally would rather invest my money in things like maybe foundations eyeshadow palettes certainly because this is gonna last me many many years whereas this will not <laughs> so that's where i kind of see like spending money on makeup and things like that but the wand looks like this it's actually a plastic applicator it does get quite a lot of product on the wand i've only used it the once which is today and i think sometimes mascaras take a little bit of using like use them a couple of times um because when you first use a mascara it's quite a wet consistency so I will have to give my full review of this in a separate video or a vlog or something like that because I can't really speak about it too much in this video because I only used it once. And then finally, which I actually really like this, I just thought, do you know what? I could do with a new blusher. My previous blusher is just too plain and simple. Like I have to apply loads of it to get anything to show up. I think it's getting a little bit old, you know, when things start to dry up. So I thought, do you know what? Just get a new one. And this wasn't too expensive anyway. It's just from Beauty Bay itself, Beauty Bay's own brand. It's in the shade Coral. The packaging doesn't feel the most luxurious. It's quite cheap sort of packaging, but I, I don't care. I'm not bothered about that. Um, but this is the shade, the shade Coral. It looks quite vibrant and in your face, but I've got it on my face today and I think you can, you can definitely see it, but it just blends into my bronzer and I just really like, you know, blushes that blend into the bronzer. I don't like blushes that are really like in your face and just they show up too much and you end up looking like a clown. I like things that like just blend into your face nicely and the rest of your makeup. And yeah, it's very pigmented in comparison to my previous one. So I only need a little kind of dab of the brush to pop it on and i really like this color i do really like this color it looks like something you think oh that would be a little bit crazy but actually remember that this is like a pressed pigment this is really intense color in here all you need to do is take a few particles of this onto your face and you're done so yeah it looks really nice or well, in my opinion i really like this one anyway and in terms of the swatch on the back of my hand if we can do that yep yeah. There we go, it looks a lot more pinky on my hand. So if you compare the swatch to the actual thing, you can see how it's less pigmented on your hand and on your face than it is in here. So it looks quite scary in here, almost reddish, but it's actually really, really nice on the skin. So I would recommend checking out their blushes because it's really nicely pigmented and it blends out really nicely. You don't just put a blotch on your face and you can't blend it out, it does blend really nicely. So I would recommend. That is it for the makeup that I've picked up. Now I have a few skincare bits that I wanted to show you. First of all, I got this from Amazon. This is the Garnier Pure Active Daily Deep Pore Wash Anti-Blemish and Shine. I don't understand why products have such long names. I really don't. It says eucalyptus extract and zinc and salicylic acid, and it's for oily skin prone to imperfections. My skin is kind of oily. It's not really prone to imperfections anymore as much. I've got quite a good skincare routine down. I use quite a lot of face masks. I, I eat very healthily now and I drink a lot of water and all of that in combination gives me fairly good skin. But I personally love facial washes that feel like they're really doing something and really cleansing. I don't like facial washes like from simple where they're just simple and basic and you just feel like nothing's happening. I don't know. My skin's not sensitive either, so I, I'm okay with using things like this. They, it actually does have little particles in it, which I didn't actually sort of realize but it's got like little gritty bits in it. So it's almost like a scrub. I would never recommend to use a scrub every single day. Sorry, my camera just cut out. As I was saying, this is a lot more gentle than your normal everyday, your normal average scrub anyway. So I would recommend this if you have oily skin as well, or even if you don't. But yeah, I, I do like this. And it's quite nice to have like a gentle scrub every day just to kind of make your skin nice and soft and smooth. So I'm liking that so far. I use that morning and night. Then I've got this spot treatment. So I use my tea tree oil that I sell myself. I've actually finished my bottle of tea tree oil and I'm the kind of person where I will try different things. So I've used that now and I wanna try something else and then I go back to using that. 
that's the kind of person that I am, even though I still do use that as well. But I really wanted to try this because people go on about it and have been going on about it on YouTube for months. This is the Mario Badescu drying lotion. So that's what it looks like. And basically you've got this kind of like powder consistency at the bottom, like a pink powder and like a liquid at the top. Now you are not meant to shake this before use. You just leave it sat on the side. It has kind of like gone a little bit mixed whilst it's been on my bed. Um, but leave it to settle, sit on the side. You then grab a cotton a little cotton bud, you dip it in the top into the powder at the bottom, bring it up and it will have like a pink consistency on it. So you, I can't, this is what I used um, last night. So it's got like a little bit of pink left on it, but then you dab it onto each individual spot. I will show this in a skincare routine or a vlog or something and it dries out your spots. I cannot give my review on this yet because I only have used it twice. So I can't review this yet, but I want to give it a good go. I want to see how it is and how it works and if it's just a gimmick or if it performs well. But I know a lot of people are obsessed with this so I just wanted to give it a try myself and see how it goes and just to kind of use something different on my face than my tea tree oil that I've been using for a year. I think it's good to mix up your skincare every so often. So yeah, I'm excited to use this. Stay tuned for my full review on that one. And then finally, I've got two face masks. This one is one that I picked up from Beauty Bay. Also the uh, Mario Badescu drying lotion was also from Beauty Bay. I picked up the Revolution X Jake Jamie Feed Your Face Avocado Face Mask. It's vegan and cruelty free. I love the packaging of this first of all and the fact that it said avocado, I was looking for a face mask on Beauty Bay that's nourishing and moisturizing because I've got three clay face masks. My own one that I use, a hemp one, which I'll show you in a second, and my Himalayan charcoal one. And I use those, a different face mask every single day. And I just, they're obviously very drying. It's good for my oily skin, but they can be quite drying. So I like to have moisturizing ones as well. I think in your skincare routine, it's good to mix things up. I've got the coffee mask from the body shop and I really like using that, but I also wanted to try something else out. So I got this. This is um, obviously the avocado one and i've used this once so far and it's so soft like it really is and it actually smells like avocados this actually kind of reminds me of the matcha tea face mask at the body shop however that one tends to disappear on your face a little bit quicker than this one does so i would actually prefer this one <laughs> but i really like how soft my skin feels once i washed this off obviously i've only used it once i can't give my full review but it's just so nice and the texture of it is just it's like putting guacamole onto your face. Like it actually feels like guacamole. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but I really like that. So yeah, I love this product. It smells so good. And I would recommend it if you just want a product that's like hydrating and it's not too expensive. Oh my God, I dropped it. Great. Um, and yeah, Revolution X Jake Jamie. Is this bad? I don't know who Jake Jamie is. Is that a YouTuber? I have no idea. Um, maybe that is bad. And an honourable mention before we finish, this is not something I've bought, it's something I was sent a little while ago. I am going to do a vlog where I show me using this in the vlog, but I just wanted to mention it here um, because I have had this a little while. Um, but this is... That was not good. <laughs> Um, nothing has been damaged, we're all good. This is a face mask from Zuku, which I think they're a small brand, I'm not sure. I will show that in the vlog when I, you know, research about them. Whenever I do collaborations with brands, I always like to try the product for a couple of weeks at least beforehand, research into them and look at everything. I haven't done that yet, but I have been trying out the product. Um, so I don't know too much about this, but yeah, it's from Zuku, it's a hemp clay mask from australia i love the packaging of this i just think that looks so nice but when you take off the lid this is what the product looks like it actually looks so fun to use on the skin it's like a greeny bluey kind of color i will show it in that vlog that i'm going to film probably next month and it's quite creamy compared to my clay face mask i prefer mine because this is a little bit harder to get off and it does feel quite creamy in a way, like it doesn't 100% set down and it does feel a little bit, a little bit like more of a creamy texture. I don't know how to explain it, but I do struggle to get this off a lot more, whereas mine will just sort of wash off immediately. This one just take a little bit of like scrubbing off. But yeah, I do like this. And also it's a little bit thicker than what I would like, but I can't complain, I can't complain. Um, so I just thought I'd mention that as well as like a little honorable mention. 
So that is everything in my beauty haul today. Next video is gonna be my vitamin E review. Don't worry if you voted for the vitamin E range review from the body shop, it will still get posted next week coming on Wednesday I think so yeah hopefully you have a good day hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll try and do more videos like this because I know some people do like beauty stuff on here even though most of my subscribers aren't here for that but some of you are um but yeah thanks for watching please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on my channel and I will see you on Wednesday at 9am goodbye my legs oh my god my legs oh my god my legs oh my god my legs, oh my god, my legs. My feet are completely unresponsive. Help. <laughs> Why? Why? I've been kneeling for like half an hour.